Problem set in Lesson 7 in Algebra 1. <clears throat> Practice problems A, B, C, and D are exactly like we just were doing. Um, you get down to problems 4 through 7, and again, just like we've been doing. But let's look at number 7. <clears throat> That's a, some kind of parenthesis thingy that I don't know how to make very well. See if I can make that side better. All right, so the key thing here, negative, 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 negative. Count them. There's four. That's an even number, so the answer is positive four. Okay? Not much brain work there. All you have to do is remember, if you have negatives right next to each other like that, and there's an even number, the answer is positive. If there's an odd number, the answer is negative. That's it. There's no math. There's no doing nothing. So it's not too bad. 12, 2... 21 are the same kind of problems. Um, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do 20. So, number 20, let's get rid of this junk here. And we have negative, negative 3, minus 2, minus negative 3, Minus 2, minus 5. All right, so here we go. Negative, we're going to do what's in here first. N negative 3 plus negative 2. Okay, two negatives next to each other makes it a positive. Minus 2, minus 5. Okay, so I just kind of did a couple random things at the same time there. All right, absolute value, negative 3 plus negative 2, signs are the same. We add the numbers up, put the sign on there. Absolute value of any number is the number itself, positive. We take the absolute value sign off. Change that to negative 2 plus negative 5, like that. Negative 5 plus 3, we take the difference between the two, put the sign of the largest on there. These two here, signs are the same, so we add them up and put the sign on there. Uh, let's put that, let's continue over it over here. So 2 plus 2 is 4, put the negative sign, and we're done with that. Plus negative 5, signs are the same, we add them up, put the sign on there, and we're done with an answer of 9. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and do number 23. We haven't done some of the earlier examples very often. We stick kind of with the newer examples in the problem set. So 23, we have, and I know you're going to love my artistic ability, and we're going to say that that radius is 8, this distance is 5, and this distance is 16 because it's twice the radius. And what are we looking for? Find the perimeter. So the distance around, so we're going to go and find out how much fence it's going to take to do that. Okay, so we know, let's start here. So we've got 5 plus 16 plus 5. That gets us all the way over here. All right, now what we're going to do is try to figure out this. Perimeter or circumference is 2 pi r. But we're only doing half a circle here, right? The distance halfway around. So we're going to divide that by 2. We're taking half of that. 2 over 2 is 0, or 1. So we could do that. But let's go ahead and just leave it as 2 pi r. And then when we're done, we'll just take half of it. All right, so c equals 2 times pi times our radius, which is 8. Or c equals 16 pi. Now, if we took half of that, it would be c equals 8 pi. And I don't have a calculator handy to get 8 times 3.14, but it will be somewhere around 24, 25 maybe point something. So we're going to add that to our 5, 16, and 5, and that will be our perimeter or our circumference around the half circle and then our 
um, perimeter around the rectangle. But anyway, it'll be the addition of all those sides. And that is a problem set for Lesson 7.